I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about um, one video I made of me practicing singing and I was thinking about posting it and oh, feeling like I don't know if I want to post it because it's very, like it's just, I don't necessarily sound good in it. It's just my process. Um, and I was thinking, but what I was thinking about was the fact that I felt like I needed to make a disclaimer uh, to say like, I mean, I'm not a professional singer, you guys. And then I felt like I heard someone say, well, what do you get paid to do? And I'm like, well, I get paid to sing, but I'm at poverty level doing it. I don't get paid very much to do it. <laughs> and so I'm not a professional singer. And I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I need to tell myself a different story. Um, I'm not quite sure. Tell myself something different. Maybe that's not a great mindset to have. But I just don't know how, I don't know how to change it right now. I don't know a better thing to think. Because it's, it is what's reality right now. I, and, and right now, I usually sing for assisted living facilities. And I love doing it. Absolutely love doing it. But I only do it like once or twice a week. And I make less than $100 a time doing it. So, I mean, do the math. That's not very, I'm not making a whole lot of money doing it. But I'm having so much fun. And I feel like I'm making a difference in people's lives, too. I just wish that I could actually do that and support my family on it. Have enough to, like, actually support my family. Um, so... Yeah, to call myself, I, I'm not a professional. That's still, that's still what I'm going with, which feels like I'm not a professional, but I'm working at becoming, a, I'm working at it. I'm working at it. And that's the thing. I'm like, you guys are hearing my thought process today. Oh, uh, talking out loud. Cause I'm thinking, I don't know if that's exactly what I want to become a professional singer. I love touching people and uh, inspiring people. And I feel like I want to be like a inspiring singing type of person. Like I, I have a lot of women that I listen to and that I admire, uh, women speakers and stuff like uh, Lisa Nichols. Um, Glenn Doyle, I'm bad with names, um, Elizabeth Gilbert, these type of people, I like, I enjoy listening to them and I respect them as like, uh, either inspirational speakers or motivational speakers, um, and my heart is kind of leaning in that direction, but I want to sing it. I started something a while back called Sing You a Piece of My Mind, I tried to, I, I, I tried to get something going, I did it I had like one time where I tried to sell tickets for it I rented I catered had it catered um and it flopped and I know you have to like get knocked down and try and try and try and try again and I just need to get up and try again maybe because I know um I love singing. I absolutely love singing and I love the way music touches people, but I don't have that same desire to like get on stage and have like a huge following of people like listening to me um, like that. I love going to concerts and I, and I love the kind of people who do want to do that. Um, I've never been to a pink concert, but I would love to go to a pink concert. Um, loved seeing Al King in concert. Loved seeing Melissa Etheridge in concert. Anyway, um, but that's not my thing. I kind of want to be more of like the inspirational speaker kind of person, but I want to be able to sing. I want to be able to get my uh, sing you a piece of my mind thing maybe going again maybe I can start trying to do that online 
if anybody sounds like something they're interested in. I like it. What seeing you a piece of my mind started off as is me talking about the fact that I do sing all the time. Um, and I sing to say what I'm thinking a lot of times w without even thinking that I'm doing it. I, it's not like I'm like, hmm, what should I sing right now? Um, I just, it just kind of like comes to me. Like this morning, for instance, got out of bed, walking uh, from my bedroom over to the kitchen, and the sun is like streaming into my house, which doesn't happen very often because um, we're covered in trees, but the morning sun was just streaming in. And I was walking through, and I was naked. I don't know. I just felt like being truthful and adding that. It felt like even more wonderful, like walking through the sunshine in my nakedness, and I just felt like singing. Um, and so let the sun shine in, face it with a grin. Smilers never lose and frowners never lit win. Like that, like, uh, and I'm thinking, I think that is the sun song that I chose. I might have chose a different sun song, but I chose a sun song. And that is one that I frequently choose or, or walk in and something's really bright and I sing, I saw the light, I saw the light. Or I'm upset, I'm upset about something and I'm feeling like, oh, pouty about relationship type of stuff that I might seem crazy. I'm crazy for feeling so lonely. I'm crazy, crazy for feeling so blue. Anyway, um, things like that. That's what I do. And especially, um, like, I did it a lot in my past marriage when I felt like I, I, I couldn't say what I wanted to say because it would have been like anger, anger outburst and just wouldn't have been pretty. Um, and so I would get in the kitchen and I would just sing how I felt. And I remember singing um, a lot of times in the kitchen and I'm upset and I'd sing. I want a man who stands beside me, not in front of all behind me. Give me two arms that want to hold me, not on me. And I'll give all the love in my heart. Stand beside me, be true, don't tell lies to me. I want a man who stands beside me. But that was when I sang a lot or, man, another song that I ended up singing a lot because I was saying what I was thinking would be like, uh, did I shave my legs for this flowers and wine is what I thought I would find. When I came home from work in tonight But now here I stand Over this frying pan And you want a cold one again I bought this new dress Did my nails Had my hair done just right I thought this new dress Was a sure bet for romance tonight well it's perfectly clear between the TV and beer I won't get so much as a kiss and as I head for the door I turn around to be sure did I shave my legs for this yeah that was, unfortunately, I feel like I still sing that damn song. Anyway, that's a different subject. Um, I say, I sing what I'm thinking. And that is what Sing You a Piece of My Mind is all about. Because I love to share mine, but I want to do it in like a circle. I want people to like 
chime in and tell me. I want to hear all their singing uh, stories and songs and what this song feels to them and what it mean, makes them feel and what it means to them. I want to hear all of this kind of stuff. Uh, but I want to be paid well to do it. <laughs> I mean, I want to be reimbursed, reimbursed. There's other people that make their money doing things that they love to do. I want to do that too. I want to really make good money doing what I love to do. So, I love being a doula though too. Can I do both? I think I can do both. I think I can do both. And still be a good mom. Because man, do I love birth too. And helping women and empowering women. And y'all know that if you know me at all. Because I can't shut up. I cannot watch birth on TV or movies. It just drives me crazy because they almost always get it wrong. They always seem to disempower the woman and make it look like she needs somebody to rush in and help her and that drives me crazy. Anyway, that's a whole new rant. And I've went a long time talking because I like to talk. Anyway, thank you for listening. Love y'all. Mwah.